Agreed. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey there, thanks for joining me on the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. My name is Scott Schaefer and this video is all about four-way switches. If you haven't already watched the introduction video to electrical switches and would like to, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen right now. At the end of that video there will be a link to bring you right back here. Four-way switches are pretty simple compared to the three-way switch. They aren't very common and I think we've all wondered how they work. And as usual, once you're done watching this video, they won't be much of a mystery. They'll make a whole lot of sense to be honest with you. So let's get started. First of all, what is a switch? A switch is a non-load device, meaning it doesn't consume power, that opens or closes an electrical circuit. A pair of three-way switches combined with any number of four-way switches can control a circuit from three or more locations. All right, so let's wire them up. Here I have my power coming in, over here I have my light, and in the middle I have three switches. Electricity travels in a loop. The black wire is the hot, that's your incoming power. The white wire is your neutral and acts as a return path back to the panel. If either of these wires is disconnected or open, the circuit will not work. The switch always and only controls the hot wire. Never connect the neutral wire to a switch. So you have your hot and neutral coming into the box with the three-way switch and you have a black and a white, and now a red, leaving your box and running to the four-way switch. And you have the same thing running to your last three-way switch. And you have a black and a white, leaving that box and running to the light. Between the switch and the light, the black wire is referred to as a switch leg. In some applications, the switch leg will be colored purple instead of black. Between the switches, both the black and the red are referred to as travelers, and the white is still the neutral. So now that we know what our wires are, let's make our connections. Since we're only controlling the hot with the switches, we're going to connect the two neutrals together with a wire nut and stick it in the back of the box. We're also going to attach all the ground wires, including a pigtail from the switch, and stick them in the back of the box. Always use a pigtail, never try to terminate two wires on the same screw. We're going to do this in the other two switch boxes as well. That leaves us with our hot and our travelers and our switch leg which one goes to which screw. In this case, only the hot and the travelers matter. In our first switch, where we have the incoming hot, we're going to attach the hot to the black screw. On older switches, all the screws may be the same color. If that's the case, connect the hot to the screw that stands alone at one end. See, it doesn't have a partner screw across from it. Then connect the black and red travelers to the gold screws. It does not matter which screw they each terminate to. When terminating the wires, I recommend bending little hooks on the ends of the wire and wrapping that hook around the screw. This will hold a lot better. Also, as a safety precaution, I would wrap the whole thing with electrical tape a couple of times. Now, at the other three-way switch, we're going to repeat the same exact process, except this time, instead of terminating the incoming hot to the black screw, we're going to terminate the outgoing switch leg. And again, the travelers go to either of the gold screws. And now for the four-way switch. It's so, so simple. You have two travelers coming from one three-way and two travelers coming out to the other three-way. On your four-way switch, you're going to have four screws, two black and two gold. Terminate one pair of travelers coming from one of the three-ways to the black screws. It doesn't matter which. Then terminate the pair of travelers coming from the other three-way to the gold screws. Again, it doesn't matter which. Now onto the light. Simply terminate the switch leg to one screw and the neutral to the other, easy as can be. And that's your four-way switched circuit. When you screw in the switches, it won't matter which way is up because both directions of the toggle could have the light on or off. And there are no words on the face of the toggle that read on or off. So why does this work? Well, let me explain. Basically, the three-way switches give the power to two different routes to take. The four-way switch cuts those paths in half and gives you the ability to switch sides halfway through. The switches control which route the power may take or can give no route at all. If I flip this switch, there is no complete path. Then if I flip this switch, the power now takes a different route. Flip another switch and there is no route. The light is off. 
I can keep flipping the switches in any order I want and it always either opens or closes the circuit regardless of what position the other two switches are in. Pretty cool, right? And the really cool part is that you can add as many four-way switches between the three-way switches as you want. Unlimited switching locations. All right, thanks so much for watching my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos, and feel free to leave comments or questions below. See you in the next one.